Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Welcome to another episode of Religious Catalog. My name is Joy Pinto, and I'm joined by my beautiful co-host, Elena Rodriguez, who is normally on the radio side of EW10, but today she joins me, and we're just having a really good time. Delighted to be here, Joy, with our dear listeners and viewers, and really looking forward to this show. You might want to call in the kids. We're going to be talking about heroes. You know how kids are always wanting to be superheroes? This is a show for them. Well, let's get started. My, today, the St. Teresa of Avila's feast day is October 15th. This 16th century saint and doctor of the church is the patron saint of people in religious orders. Those who suffer with headaches and other illnesses, those who have lost parents, and for people who are ridiculed for their piety. Well, we have this beautiful plaque and it's called Let Nothing Trouble You Stone Plaque. This is a beautiful piece of Jerusalem stone engraved with the words from the bookmark of St. Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things pass away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. He who has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. Now this beautiful plaque, it measures four by six inches. It includes a great little leather strap for hanging. This stone is quarried in the Holy Land. This is a really beautiful piece. Now next I'd like to show you a statue of Saint Teresa of Avila. Now this beautiful handmade statue of St. Teresa of Avila is made of fiberglass and it's crafted in a traditional Spanish method. It measures 13 inches high. Just beautiful. Maybe some of you have never seen this statue. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Next I'd like to show you this beautiful St. Teresa of Avila DVD. Now this is a great powerful epic miniseries shot on the location in Spain and it tells the story of one of the most amazing women in history, Saint Teresa of Avila. With meticulous attention to detail and historical accuracy, outstanding production value and an incredible performance by actress Concha Velasco as, Ter as Teresa. This acclaimed major film production is the definitive film on the life of this great saint. The program is in Spanish with English subtitles, and it includes a 16-page collector's booklet, special features including a documentary on the making of the film, behind-the-scenes footage, interviews, and more. And the running time is seven and a half hours. This is a beautiful movie. I have seen it, Joy, and I grew up watching it because they showed it when I was growing up in Costa Rica. Yeah. They showed it on public television, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and it is truly a treasure. I've just recently begun to watch it again as an adult, mm -hmm. and it, it really it, it speaks. It's near and dear to your heart. It really speaks, and you can learn a lot from it. St. Teresa of Avila is a truly a remarkable saint. And we have this DVD, Saints Alive, St. Teresa of Avila. This program presents a dramatized interview with St. Teresa of Avila. The dialogue, which pulls no punches, touches on the following. What are the major effects of secular feminism? How has the Virgin Mary's decline as the quintessential model of femininity 
left as vulnerable to the combined forces of the sexual revolution and secular feminism. It also touches on why is the family and the culture being undermined. Has society lost sense of sin and grace and the supernatural? And many other important questions for our time. The running time is 30 minutes, easy to pop in and out and learn a lot. You may want to even keep pen and paper handy for this one. More of St. Teresa of Avila. To read about her life, the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila, in this landmark Christian mysticism, the revered Carmelite nun presents moving accounts of her profound religious experiences and ultimate union with God, as well as her spiritual struggles and the vision of her potential place in hell. That is, a one, that, is one that really impacts you, let me tell you that. St. Teresa recounts her childhood and education in the 16th century Spain, her physical afflictions and spiritual crises, her many visions and mystical encounters, and her determination to embrace the contemplative life. St. Teresa, who wrote the memoir at the behest of her confessor, offers a warm, accessible account of her transformation into an impassioned leader and reformer of the church doctrine. This book forms an excellent introduction to the saint's other writings and to the Christian tradition of mystical literature. It is full of robust common sense and is written in an essay easy, very easy to read manner with large type, so it's good for all ages. Well, Columbus Day is this week on October 10th, and that serves as a wonderful reminder to pray for our nation. What better way to do that but to have Patriotic Miraculous Medals on us. Here is a Patriotic Miraculous Medal Cross. This unique winged cross is solid, sterling, and it is has silver enamel stars and stripes above the peaked oval Miraculous Medal. It comes on a 24-inch rhodium-plated chain, and it's good for both men and women to wear proudly in support our country with the patriotic colors there. We also have a patriotic four-way medal, which I am going to show you here. If you're wondering what a four-way medal looks like, this is it. And it is four-way medal because it has four medals built into it. This one-inch sterling silver four-way medal has beautifully cut details and a patriotic red, white, and blue enamel accent lovely to wear or to give as a gift for someone who has done something to defend our country. What a beautiful way to honor our country and keep our country in prayer joy. Well, I'm excited about our next items that we have. We have these tremendously popular Who's Your Hero t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a good question? Who is your hero? Our answer will actually define our lives whether we realize it or not. Mm -hmm. We tend to become what we love. So let's ask the question, who's your hero? And let's share our answers by the way we live our lives. We have had a huge response from our viewers about these great t-shirts. And here is one of the letters that we have received from one of our viewers. It says, Dear EWTN Religious Catalog, I have the Who's Your Hero t-shirt and I love it. Thank you who work at EWTN Religious Catalog and may God bless all the EWTN family. And the letter is signed by Buddy from Bailington, Alabama. He is one of the many people who love this t-shirt. And you can see that the beautiful t-shirt in the front asks the question, who's your hero? And then on the back is a crucifix and Jesus in bold white capital letters along with the names of Mary and 17 other favorite mm. saints. At the bottom is a quote from Mother Angelica that reads, We are all called to be great saints. Don't miss the opportunity. Now this great shirt is super soft and it's made of 90% cotton and 10% polyester. And it comes in three beautiful colors. I love the colors. You could, they could be masculine, feminine. We have this great green, absolutely beautiful. We also have a great pink if you're popping pink.
-hmm. which is good. Beautiful. It comes in sizes small to a double XL. Now this one is long sleeves. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. absolutely great if you're getting ready for the winter oh, months. Cold weather is coming. It's steel gray shirt. It's made of 100% cotton ring spun cotton. And it has easy fit cuff sleeves, cuffless sleeves, really nice. I like this. And it's also available in sizes XL all the way to small. Now on the back, here's that great picture of it says, who's your hero? And then it says Jesus and it lists the 17 saints and the great, great quote from Mother Angelica. This is great, I like this. Good looking for those runners out there, oh, yeah. that, would do, that well. would do well. So don't forget to order those. Now I'd like to show you this beautiful statue. This is a statue of Mary, okay? Look how beautiful that is. So this statue is the Praying Virgin Mary statue. The patriotic colors used to paint this beautiful statue are a subtle reminder that Mary is the queen of the Americas. You know, sometimes we forget that. We have an election coming up. We need to pray for our country. She prays faithfully for our nation and she wants us to join us in prayer. Now this statue measures 11 and 3 quarter inches high and we must be praying for this next upcoming election. The next statue we have is Welcoming Christ statue. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. This statue is taken in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 where Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavenly burdened, and I will give you rest. This unique statue of Jesus with his arms extended in a welcome is beautifully hand painted with lifelike features and a brilliant blue robe and it measures 12 and a quarter inches. Just lovely. Now next year is the 100th anniversary of Fatima and recently Father Joseph visited the Basilica of Fatima and talked with the postular for Sister Lucia's cause. She told him about some excellent books. So I'm here in the square of Fatima in front of the Basilica of Our Lady of Fatima with Sister Angela di Fatima. And Sister Angela is a postulator for the causes of Blessed Jacinta and Blessed Francisco and the vice postulator for the cause of the servant of God, Lucia. So Sister Angela, you have some books there. We had talked in one of our episodes about the importance of getting a good book to learn more deeply about the message of Fatima. Why do you think these books are good? Well, these are three books that Lucia wrote, always under obedience. This one, Fatima and Lucia's own words, they contain four letters that she wrote to the bishop telling all the events since 1916, 1929, including the secret. So everything that is according to the events that took place in Fatima is in this book, tell on the first person, the one who saw. The first person. Yes, every, <laughs> yes, saw everything, realized everything. This small book, and I'm so sorry, and I'm so sad it's so small, but that's what <laughs> she wrote. She reflects on the message of Fatima 80, 60 to 70 years later of the experience, asking her, superior asked her to write how she could see the message of Fatima after living so many years. It's a wonderful, precious book. And this one, she tells more about her family, the father and the mother, and the cultural okay. and the environment. So I think these are fundamental books, all of them by Sister Lucia, so more officially it's impossible, but yes. are good to go deeper into the message of Fatima. Wonderful. Well, thank you for giving us advice on good reading so that we can enter into the mystery and the message of Our Lady of Fatima. Thank you, Father. Isabel the Catholic DVD, another way to learn about the great saints and heroes of our history. Queen Isabel of Spain is most well known for funding Christopher Columbus' famous voyage, and this EWTN home video brings you to the life of this holy woman. Discover how, even through this monarch's zeal for justice, helped her transform her kingdom into one of the most powerful nations, the 16th century Europe. Underneath all of the political power she had, Queen Isabel lived a humble and deeply spiritual life as Isabel the Catholic. The running time of this DVD is one hour. We also have another DVD because, of course, 
Daylight hours are diminishing, and then we have more time being at home with the cold weather, so it's good to always stock up on good DVDs. Dawn of America DVD, originally broadcast in 1953, this black and white program is the inspiring story of Christopher Columbus and his struggle to secure support to sail to the new world. Columbus remained faithful to Jesus and Mary, praying for their guidance and strength to overcome so many obstacles we have no idea. They're shown here on this DVD, on this special celebratory issue. He was rewarded for his devotion when Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain gave him three ships to begin his expedition and help spread Christianity to the New World. Thanks to that, we have Christianity here in America. The running time is 54 minutes. You can make it another good pizza night this fall. And here is a book that was recently featured on Women of Grace. Life from Our Land, The Search for a Simpler Life in a Complex World. Marcus Grodi discusses what he and his family discovered after moving from the city to a 25-acre farm in Ohio. This move involved a radical shift in priorities for all of them, as I'm sure you can imagine, but mostly it helped them to discover some critical truths about our relationship to nature and to nature's creator that apply regardless of whether a person lives in the city or out in the farmland. Marcus Grodi offers wonderful reflections on this going back to the land experience as a metaphor for drawing closer to God. And finally, we have two books written by the best-selling author, Anthony DiStefano. You may want to have the kids pay attention at this point. And this book is illustrated by Richard Cowdery. These books were featured recently on EWTN Bookmark. And let me show you one of my favorites here, <laughs> The Puppy That No One Wanted. This is the tale of a scraggly, smelly little puppy who never loses hope that one day he will find a home of his own with a family to love. One rainy night, his dream comes true finally in a very unexpected way when he meets a very, very special family. It's rich in biblical imagery. The simple story of a lonely puppy reveals the profound truth that all of us are really outcasts in life and can only find our true home in God. Well, you recently became a puppy owner. I did, and I did rescue a puppy who was very lonely and probably thought he was never going to find a loving family. Until he found and, you. Yes, and I'm loved. I, I'm loved, and he is loved as what well. What is your puppy's name? His name is Marshmallow. <laughs> Guess what color he He's is? He's white. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's adorable. So this really speaks, it's very near and mm -hmm. dear to my heart. Uh, it's, it's a book for children, but hey, I'm a little girl uh -huh, at heart, so always. I love it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Puppies are and pets are our blessings from God and there's another kind of different pet that you probably don't think you can have in your home but this book you can have in your home it's Roxy the Ritzy Camel. Anthony DiStefano tells the story of Roxy the Camel who loves her things, her jewels, a big mansion, the fancy food her butler serves to her but she hates living in the hot and dusty desert. Well, one day, Roxy packs up her things, loads them onto her back, and travels to the beautiful city she's heard so much about, the one ruled by the King of Kings. When Roxy arrives at the city gate, she discovers that she cannot fit through the small entrance, and, oh, she gets very upset. We'll find out how this silly, ritzy, vain camel learns to share her things so she can squeeze through the gate and become even richer than before. It is indeed very important to share the faith as early as possible with the children in our lives. And children sh should learn the faith along with their ABCs. And then as they grow, we should teach them more and more about the church and about Holy Scripture. We don't stop teaching science or math after kindergarten. Well, in the very same way, we should not ever stop sharing the faith with our children and grandchildren, even when they grow up. So if we give them a good foundation of faith, they can build on and on and become great Christians, is that, and that is what we want. These are beautiful books to exemplify how we can begin to do that in those early years. Well, Elena, we brought our family at home some beautiful items yet again. Great t-shirts and statues and books and DVDs and jewelry. 
So we want you to go out to EWTNRC.com and do your shopping. It was just a pleasure for Elena and I to bring all of these religious holy items, holy reminders to you. God bless you. Elena and I brought you some beautiful items this episode of Religious Catalog and we'd love for you to go out to EWTNRC.com and do some shopping. Well, the first beautiful item I showed you was that stone plaque, Let Nothing Trouble You. It's item number 539 and you can purchase that for $35. The next item I showed you was that St. Teresa of Avila statue and it's item number K0691 and you could purchase that for $60. The next DVD I showed you was St. Teresa of Avila DVD and it's item number STOAD and you can purchase that for $35.95. We also showed you the Saints Alive St. Teresa of Avila DVD and the item number is HDSATA. The price is $10. We talked about the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila and that book is $30. The item number is 1518. We also showed you the beautiful patriotic winged miraculous metal cross and the item number is S1196 and it costs $49. We showed you as well the patriotic four-way medal. The item number is S1445. The price is $62. The next item I showed you were those great t-shirts. Who's your hero t-shirts? Three t-shirts, you could purchase them in three different colors. Item number WYH, you could purchase them for $14.95. One of the t-shirts was a long sleeve t-shirt. Who's Your Hero t-shirt, and that's in gray. It's item number LSH, and you can purchase the long sleeve Who's Your Hero t-shirt for $19.95. Next, I showed you the Praying Virgin Mary statue. Item number seven four five zero four C and you could purchase that for sixty dollars. Next I showed you the welcoming Christ statue. Item number seven three eight seven O C and you could purchase that for sixty four dollars. And all of the items we showed you are available through EWTNRC.com. Father Joseph showed you three books by Sister Lucia. The first is The Message of Fatima, item number 32846, and the price is $6. Next was Fatima, in Lucia's own words, volume one, item number 8459, and the price is $18. The last book Father Joseph showed you was Fatima, in Lucia's own words, Volume 2. The item number is 8408 and the price is also $18. We also showed you the Isabel the Catholic DVD. The item number is HDITC and the cost is $15. We also talked about the Dawn of America DVD. The item number is 65ED and the price is $8. We showed you the book, Life from Our Land. The item number is 40233, and the price is $17. And we talked about those beautiful children's books, The Puppy That No One Wanted. The item number is 9286, and the price is $15. And you will want that book, even though it's the puppy who no one wanted. <laughs> also, you have Roxy the Ritzy Camel book, and the item number is 66344, and the price is $15. You can go to EWTNRC.com to place your order. We take Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. It is safe and secure, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. EWTNRC.com. 
or you can also order by calling 1-800-854-6316. Thank you so much for joining us today and visit EWTN.com. You can sign up to receive our e-blasts. Don't forget to visit us and like us on Facebook. This show is here to help you to become holy, to help your family to become stronger in union with God and union with each other. I want to feed your family and you with beautiful books, beautiful articles, the saints, crucifixes, just something of God for your living room, for your kitchen, in your car, wherever. I hope and pray that this program, this catalog program, will help us to be family. First God's family, and your family. And that's what this network is all about, family.